this one really stings, doesn't it, Arsenal fans? It really does. And that shows just how much we've improved as a team. To come away from a Man City loss, disappointed that we didn't win. Normally, it would be a, yeah, we lost. It's Man City. They're the best team in England right now. Yeah, of course we lost. And let's be fair, I think a lot of Arsenal fans would have probably expected us to really struggle today. You know, we've been playing well, but this is Man City. But no, we dominated. That first half was incredible. We're 1-0 up. And then, of course, a few minutes of madness in the second half. Typical Arsenal. And we lose the game 2-1. A late goal from Rodri. Oh, man. But do you know what? I'm going to be positive today, guys, because I was genuinely proud of this team throughout the whole game. There's a few individuals that, you know, maybe made mistakes and... You know, that the penalty from Xhaka, whether you think it's a penalty or not, shouldn't have even been a debate. He shouldn't be pulling someone's shirt in the box. He shouldn't be sticking his leg out like that. The Gabriel sending off, why is he trying to kick and, and ruin the, the penalty spot there? It's, it's cheating. It's, it's shady. I don't like that. And I saw Ramsdale doing it as well. Shouldn't be doing that. Getting a costly yellow card and then... Whether you think it's a foul or not, when he uh, ran into Jesus and got the second yellow, these things shouldn't be happening regardless. It shouldn't even be up for debate. The fact that it is up for debate, well, that's another story. It's just don't let it. Don't let it happen. Don't make the error in the first place. So, as always, I'm going to start off by giving a bit of credit to the other team. You know, when, when you lose a game, you have to give credit where it's due. As long as it's something that they have done correctly and uh, and played well. And I think Man City didn't exactly play their best football today, but they deserve some credit because they've come to the Emirates against a team that's in form right now. We don't drop many points at home and they've won the game. That deserves credit because at times they were still pretty good. I think, you know, whilst the penalty was soft, their second goal in the end, it's a bit scruffy, but the play before it was nice. They They did dominate possession. We'll look at the stats in a moment. I, I, I can't really say that Man City were awful today and really didn't deserve the win. I'm being I'm being honest, guys. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I am a realist. I like to look at things from almost a neutral perspective. When it comes to Arsenal losing a game like this, you, you, you've got to take a step out from, I don't know, wearing the Arsenal goggles and see it from a neutral perspective. I think... It's very easy to say the referee was completely biased today and made loads of wrong decisions. But you've also got to realise that it wasn't perfect from Arsenal. We still made mistakes. We're still a very young team with a lot of inexperienced players. We're coming up against the best team in England. They win most of their games, especially away from home. Their record is ridiculous. So you have to give a bit of credit there. Fair play to Man City. They weren't bad today. They weren't top, top, top level, but they were still good. They, they, they didn't deserve to lose this game badly. You know, I think that's the best way to put it. But um, let's talk about Arsenal, shall we? Because that's what you're all here for. Here is the uh, the stats page. We've got all the match ratings. Uh, Partey getting a 7.4. In fact, the whole Arsenal squad here have been massively underrated, in my opinion, uh, by FOTMOB. This is the website I use. Not sponsored, by the way. Um, Rodri got man of the match, according to FOTMOB. Of course, he scored a late minute, a, a late winner in the, the last few minutes. But uh, for me, it was all about this man right here, Partey, who, of course, has now played his last game for Arsenal. Uh, he's going, well, not his last game ever, but he's going to uh, play for the Africa Cup of Nations. We're going to lose a few of our players now, just as he's getting into some good form. I've said it quite openly. I think Partey has struggled since he's joined Arsenal, but today was one of his better performances. And I think he was man of the match. And actually, he was given man of the match by BT. So, you know, I, I don't think you could look into this too much. I think it's very unfair on some of these players. Like Tommy Yasu was superb today, a 6.9. You're telling me Tommy Yasu didn't outperform Ake, for example. Like, come on. What a joke that is. Ake's only good moment of the game was when he blocked. The ball from rolling over the line from Laporte's header, um, which was going in. It was a it would have been a beautiful own goal. And Ake slid in. And then Gabriel, who also had a fantastic game, hits the post open goal pretty much. I thought Lacazette was good today. I, I think there's a few 
little bits of his game that aren't quite polished, but um, the way he sits deep and he gets everyone else involved is, is really helpful. I think Erdegaard was a little bit quieter today, but he always leads the press. He's, he's, he's a leader. That is literally what he is. He will be captain of this club one day. He will be. Ben White was good. Gabriel, before getting sent off, was good. Just a stupid mistake to... Well, it's not even a mistake. It is, it's cheating. I don't like that. I really don't. If if you concede a penalty and you walk over to the penalty sport, spot and, and start digging your heels into it and trying to rake up the pitch, like, come on, man. I'm not I'm not happy with that. And and Ramsdale did it as well. And I expect more from my 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 favorite players in the squad. You know, I want them to behave like professionals, whether you think it's a penalty or not. I, I don't I don't like that. I really don't. And it's a deserved yellow card for sure. Um, the second one uh, is, is soft, isn't it? I thought Tierney was great today. Fantastic assist. And of course, Saka got the goal. Here are the stats. As I mentioned, um, possession was definitely in Man City's favour today, as expected. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit of an unfair thing to look at when, you know, we've gone down to 10 men after 60 minutes. Because whilst we didn't have more possession than them in the first half... We did more with the ball. We we did so much, so much with the ball in the first half that it was arguably our best first half performance of the season so far. And there's been a few recently. Um, but City, after everything, you know, they've they've been the better side statistically. So what can you do? Um, do I think the referee made mistakes in this game? Absolutely. But I think, you know, a lot of the blame will go to the referee when actually I think you've got to look at yourselves sometimes and think, Nah, there was a few mistakes by individuals. I think Granit Xhaka made another massive error yet again to to slide in and not slide in, sorry, to stick his leg out. And yeah, oh, the red card leaves. The referee's got no choice. What I don't like is how VAR can sometimes be a bit. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What is the word I'm looking for? It's almost like a bit hypocritical. In some ways, I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word here, but my mind's gone blank. It contradicts itself sometimes. I think that's the best way to explain it. When the referee says it's not a penalty play on, then the VAR team say, well, you should probably look at it. That is very contradicting because VAR is in the game for one reason only, and that is to correct mistakes. It's, it's to stop clear and obvious mistakes from ruining results in a game. For, for me, both penalties in this game, the penalty that wasn't given to Arsenal in the first half and the penalty that was given to City in the second half, it's a very similar story. The referee has decided they're not penalties and I don't think that there was a clear and obvious error in either of them. I think the one with Martin Erdegaard, you know, you can see, at least when it's slowed down, that maybe Edison hasn't got the ball. So you could argue it's a penalty, but at full speed... There's no way a referee's really going to tell. It's a very, very difficult, difficult call. And the referee hasn't made a mistake by going either way. It's up to interpretation. I think when VAR step in in that case, it's not really correcting an error, which is what it's there for. And it's the same with the Man City penalty. You know, it's very arguable that Bernardo Silva was going down already. And that's what the referee has clearly thought. The only thing I can think of maybe when they were chatting between the referee and the VAR is that there was a pulled shirt and that maybe the referee didn't see that from the angle. In that case, there is an argument to be had that, have you seen the shirt, Paul? No, I haven't. Okay, go and see the screen. Because then there is an error that's been missed. You know, a, a mistake has been made. But I don't I don't know if it's, if it's right. I, I feel like that is contradicting. You're now using VAR for something it's not intended to be used for. It's not meant to be... Every single time the referee's got something wrong, he has to go and check it because I, I'm pretty sure it's 100% guaranteed at this point. If the referee decides one thing and the VAR team say, go and look at the screen, it's going to go the other way. It hasn't ever... I don't think there's been a case where the referee's gone up to the screen and then gone, yeah, I was right. It's always, oh, I was wrong. You know, and I don't think that's what VAR should be used for. In my opinion. It's, it's tough, but guys, we're going to get into your comments now. Let's go ahead and get some of these up. So we've had 144 comments in 20 minutes. That's a lot of you guys. I can only pick out a few, obviously. Uh, this was an interesting one from, I'm going to call you Daz. I have no idea how to say that first name. I do apologize. 
This is the best I've seen Arsenal play in a long time. Yeah, I think the first half was, was fantastic. The team lacked maturity. That showed, but the immense raw talent that it has is a testament of what is to come for the future. Gabriel and Xhaka should have been a little bit more careful. The penalty was a soft one. I agree with this completely. We've got such a young team. It's one of the youngest teams, if not the youngest team on average in the Premier League. I think if you look at the stats of goals scored, we've scored more with under 21 players than any of the other teams and also more than the second and third team combined, I believe, Palace and someone else. It's a ridiculously young side and you can't win anything with kids, remember? We are building something for the future. There is immaturity, there's inexperience and that definitely showed today. It wasn't all down to the referee. There were mistakes made, for sure. And actually, some of them were made by the more experienced players like Granit Xhaka. Uh, Sam Frosty says, such a good performance from the boys today. First half was the best we've had this season. The ref was so poor, in my opinion, never a pen. Partey was unreal. It's up for a debate, isn't it? The referee was poor today. He definitely did make errors. There were so many challenges that went in that should have been yellow cards. And there were so many occasions where he's given a yellow card and it, it just wasn't. It just wasn't a yellow card. The one on Sack, the, the Saka yellow card, it still annoys me. Saka is not a rude person. You cannot convince me he said something awful to warrant a yellow for dissent. He probably said something like, come on, ref, that's ridiculous. He's a smart, intelligent guy and he's literally just booked him. Oh, how dare you talk to me like that? Oh, it's a load of rubbish. We've got another comment coming in from Cicinio here. Despite the loss and the controversy, Arsenal made us proud. Yes, that's it. I'm so proud of the team today. We've come away from a loss feeling proud. That's 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 great. Every player fighting for the win. I think none of the players had a bad match today. Agreed. No one had a bad, bad game. I think just errors, Gabriel and Xhaka, they're the only ones you can really talk about. Saka and Martinelli had a great game, able to face the best team in the Premier League with such pride made the future look bright. The future is bright. MK, a City fan, that's why I picked this one out. You guys played as well as anybody against us today. Silly errors cost you at least a point. Outclassed City in the first half, you can take positives from that. I really appreciate comments like this. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I'd really appreciate it, especially if you're not an Arsenal fan. Get your comments in after the games, especially if we played you. Um, I love this. I love this. An honest fan admitting that whilst City got the win today and... They didn't deserve necessarily to lose, but the wrong team won today. I think we can all agree. And the Arsenal were fantastic. They, they outplayed City for large portions of the game with less possession, which is pretty incredible. And then we've got a Spurs fan. Hasn't really said anything positive about Arsenal. And I, I get that, but he said the ref ruined the game. That's the thing to take away from this. It doesn't matter if you think the referee did things wrong or did things right. The answer is still the same to me. He has made some very controversial decisions today along with the VAR team. And ultimately, the game was sacrificed because of it. It felt as if it was all about the referee. It was all about the team behind the VAR. It was all about those decisions. It wasn't about the great football that we saw. That first half was was beautiful. Some of the some of the play from Arsenal and City, it it was it was really great to watch. And, and the second half. And ultimately, the rest of the game was ruined by some of these decisions. And that's just such a shame. You just want to see a good football match. And it's the first game of 2022. And I'm sitting here just uh, uh, talking about the referee. So that's why I've been positive today in, in certain aspects. That it's, it's great that we've come away losing this game, but feeling proud. That's massive. I love this Arsenal team. I love where we're going. We have made some massive, massive improvements since we lost 5-0 at the Etihad. And of course, we shouldn't really be comparing them. We had a team ravaged by COVID at the start of the season and again now. We had a back five at the Etihad. And I remember our three centre-backs were Kolasinac, Holding and Chambers. OK, so we're not going to talk about that 5-0 being anything relevant to do with the team today. Um, two different sides, two Arsenal sides. And uh, we were so much better today. And the positive thinking is what gets you through disappointing results like this. Arsenal are improving and everyone saw that today. Everyone will come away from watching that game, Arsenal fans or not, saying Arsenal were good. 
they were good today and they didn't necessarily deserve to lose. I don't think any team deserved to lose. Maybe a draw. Maybe a draw would have been fair today. But anyway, guys, this is my first video of 2022, but my first proper video is coming out later today. We're going to be discussing all things new with the channel. Actually, I'll give you a sneaky little, um, what's the word? Mm, preview. <laughs> Um, channel memberships are live on my channel right now and I haven't mentioned it. So if you want to be one of the first, the first 100 members will get the club founder rank in my Discord. Um, if you join now, it's $4.99 per month. It supports me. It supports my family. It supports the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It's the same as a Twitch sub. You're going to be able to chat during live streams, which are coming soon when I'm doing members only live chat, sub only mode, basically in the chat. Um, and you get to be one of the first and I'd really appreciate any support um, We've also got a brand new career mode series a complete rework on the discord Make sure you join the link is down below and also a complete rebrand You might be seeing my new logo for the first time. I've got new branding on the channel um, Lots of exciting stuff for 2022, which I'll be announcing properly in the, the, the video later today So um, yeah, thank you for watching guys unlucky Arsenal fans. It is what it is we're still fourth. We're still ahead of West Ham. Man United need to win both their games to leapfrog us. So we're still good. And I'm proud of the team.